Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial for beginners. In today's tutorial, we are going to write text on images using Python. So we are going to use a Python library called Pillow. If you haven't watched my previous video on using Pillow to manipulate or edit images, that is image processing using Python, make sure to watch that. Now, in order to do this, first we need to pip install pillow. I have already installed pillow, that's why for me it says requirement already satisfied. For you, it might take a couple of seconds. Now, I, the only thing I have inside my folder is a PNG image, it's just a dark image. You will see it, so uh, let me show it to you. It's so this image and I'm going to write something on it. Now let's get back. Now that we have in, installed pillow, now we need to import pill. So pill is actually a fork of pillow. So, oh sorry, uh, from pill. So from pill, we need to import several modules. One of them is image. Another one is image draw. So make sure that the first I is capital and also D is also capital or uppercase. Then we also need to um, import image font because we are going to also choose a font. Okay, now that we have imported these three from pill, what we need to do is first of all open our image, the image that you just saw. So I just assign a variable, I just call it img or whatever you can. But then we need to say image with uppercase i open. So we need to open it. So the name of my image is b.png. Now, so I have opened this. It doesn't mean that I'm showing it, it's just just opening it into this variable. Now that I have done that, now I need to declare another variable. Let's just call it D for drawing. And here I need to use image draw. You can see it auto suggested because we have imported that. So image draw dot draw. So with uh, uppercase, yeah, draw. And inside that we need to put the image that we just opened. So we need to draw on this image that we just opened. And we have D. Now, we can now start writing. So we would say D, that is this drawing on that image, D dot text. You can also see that we have all this stuff here, we can choose the font, we can write the text here, and all sorts of stuff. So D dot text. And then inside that we need several parameters. So the first one can be actually uh, the position. That is, so if we have an image, let's say 100 by 100. So where do we want to put the image? So I would say, let's say 60, that is from uh, the left. And let's say 60 also from above. So that is inside a tuple, so here. Now after that, we need to have a comma, and here we insert our text, like hello world, something as cheesy as that. And then we need to have our font, but we haven't decided on the font yet, we haven't, uh, uh, we haven't determined the font, so let's just give it font, let's call it F and T for the time being. And um, then we need to give it fill, that is some colors. So if you want it to be, um, if you want it to be all in white, for example, you say 255, 255, 255. You can also, you know that this is RGB colors. So they're basically red, then green, and then blue, RGB. And that's it for this one. Now, 
let's also uh, take care of our font so how can we choose the font there so for font so we said FNT for font we just use this we could use X or Y or whatever so FNT and then here we need to use the image font that we just imported from here so image font and we need to give it like a true type font TTF so true type fonts were developed by Apple in 1980s or yeah so and now Microsoft is also using them on Windows so most of the fonts that you have are TTF true type fonts so true type fonts and then we can choose the name of our font and then like give it a size like 25 pixels or whatever now how can we know what name should we insert here so let me show you because I'm using Windows so I can look for Windows 10 font list and then you see TTF so the, the Arial TTF and all sort of stuff so let's go for like comic bold TTF so let's just copy this and paste it inside the font but remember the first letter should be a lowercase and uh, let's just save this so hopefully the system will recognize this otherwise you should ch change it now the last thing we need to do is to save this file so image dot save and we need to give it a name like bb dot pn uh, G for example yeah okay so bb.png oh it should be inside uh... okay save that now we sh oops why so much space here okay now let's run the program and let's see if we get any errors no errors let's look at our file now we have bb.png so let's go to our folder and let's open it up and let's see cool we have now hello world here now you can of course change the font you can change the size uh, the font size as you just saw or even the position of this for example if you want it to be in the middle one way to do that is um, to okay let's see so if I print image that size so let me comment these out because I don't want them to show up now if I oops not image so now we have an image B PNG I want to see the side of the image if I run the program I see a tuple here so our image is 500 by 334 so now we have image size and if I say image size let's say zero look at this 500 so image size zero I get 500 if I want the height or the width actually this should be it 334 okay cool now we know how to get these now so I want to uh, where was our image I want to put my text like halfway that is in the middle so now I know how to grab the size of the width it was 330 something I just divided by 2 and this is the way I do it so let's uh, uncomment these let's get, get rid of this size image and instead of this Oh, sorry this one which is about the, the width I can say image dot size and it was the second parameter divided by 2 now we have image size 1 which is uh, 334 whatever it is and divided by 2 and whatever position it gives us would be here now let's uh, run it again and let's go back and see now you see it's almost in the middle yeah because it's about the height as well so 
it starts from here and then yeah it's gone down a bit so yeah but it's it's okay anyways so now you can see how to position the text around the image yeah that is it thank you for watching and listening